What's going on guys, LCG here, back to where we started. Alright, so in between episodes, I went out and I scoured all the local merchants. And I went and I got a bunch of lockpicks, alright? And that's just in case we run across a bunch more of these things, okay? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this episode to simply scour through what all it is that we have in this entire area and we are currently in the east um the hell is this place called the east something trading company or brinewater grotto right now but uh what, what the hell is it called it's east something trading company and we're going to this looks like where that bear was when we first started out we're going to go ahead and we're going to take anything that seems like it's of significant value and we're going to take all the books, right? And the reason we take the books is because some of them offer skill ups, some of them do not, but let's go ahead and start pillaging. So we're going to take the drought and we're going to take all magic items. Lock picking is 20% easier. So let's see how that compares to what we got right now. Whoop. Wrong button. Items. Um, what are we wearing? Uh, gloves of the Pugilist. So if we have to do any lock picking from here on out, we're going to go ahead and put those on. We'll take that. Free weight, 40 value. We'll take those. You needed to know more? No, dude. Shut up. Um... Imperial light armor, we'll take it. I don't know that we really need it. Cheese, um Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and look through this pretty thoroughly. So if this is not your interest, keep in mind this is literally all we are doing for this entire episode is looking for loot that we will then proceed to sell and use just for money. Alright, so this side looks more. pretty clear, right? Did I miss anything? Yes, this chest. We'll have a total of 62 lockpicks. Actually, you know what? While we're here, let's go ahead and do our level up. We're going to put another point to stamina. And we're going to... Uh, spin. Go into lockpicking. And apprentice locks are much easier. What happens if we go to quick hand? What? What? Quick hands. Able to pick locks without being noticed. That's that's another good one to have. So hopefully as our lock picking skill gets better, it increases the range that we have for these. I thought we were close there before. Oh, almost there. Not quite all the way down. There we go. Hit one gold. So, it looks like by practicing our skills, we gain a lot of experience, right? And... I'm cool with that. We're going to take all these books. Take it. Because we're going to build a little library in our house. And I want to have the coolest books ever. We are definitely going to do a library. I saw there was a bookshelf thing. And uh, I don't know how you actually store the books there. Uh, come on. I have to jump up here. Alright. We've already searched that one. There's no ladder to get up top there, but I don't think there's anything there anyway. Alright, so this area is pretty well scoured. We're going to take that. I don't need any of his stuff. Take his gold. 
Right, we want to build up a little stockpile of gold. Nothing huge necessarily, but... Oh, I didn't even see that. Prentice lock picks are easier, my rump. Alright, maybe they are easier. 43 gold, lesser soul gem. We'll take that. And, uh, no. That's not worth it. Too heavy for what we got. How much weight do we have? Uh, 244 out of 360. So we have a little over 100, almost 120 weight that we can add to our body. Which I think, because I did see quite a bit of, um... Slaughterfish. Small amounts of health being gained. Alright. 35 gold. So I think we came that way. Sorry, dog. Dog meat! Anybody else remember dog meat? Dog meat from Fallout 4? Nobody? Oh, really? Still hit a trap? A chest or a barrel, or neither. It looks like a barrel. And this is where we came from. All right, so we go back this way, I suppose. Cross back up over. Who's this guy? We put him in there? Oh no, how do we get out? There we go. Perfect. We didn't miss anything. Alright, nothing on him. Now keep in mind, I have a pretty low difficulty set right now. We're going to go ahead and cut through this. I can see the spider right there. I can see all of them. Good work, King Bats. Come on, come on. Got him. With any luck, there's some crazy loot back here. But that's all that it would be, is crazy luck. I don't know what that trap was, but it didn't hit us. Alright, what we're looking for is to go back to the East India Trading Company, I believe. Right? Did I say that right? I don't... Activate torch sconce. No, wait. We gotta be going this way. We should have come down there and gone left. Try to search that guy. And this is the stuff that we were looking at. Potion, potion, potion. 
Anything up there? Nope, nope. Potions. Can we get to them? Is there a ladder? Nah, we don't, you know what? We're not going to take all the wine. Nor all the Nord mead. This is where all that iron was, I think. More mead. What's that hole in the ceiling for? I've already looked through there. Now keep in mind this is on a pretty low difficulty. So if you're at a higher difficulty, I think you get more from the loot boxes. Alright? I don't know if that's a fact or not, but I feel like it is. East Empire, not East Indian. East Empire Company. That's what it was. What was the East Indian Trading Company? That's a that's a thing, right? Uh, let's see. This is nothing back there. It's all a bunch of wine. We got to continue down this way because we did not explore over here. Roll fat. That stuff is actually very valuable. 15 to 1 as far as weight to value goes. And this is why Dude Man offered to fence for us, apparently. Because he knew we'd be coming here and stealing a bunch of stuff. That makes sense now. No more guards around here, are there? So it looked like when Gulamai came through. Did I say that right? Gulamai? Ooh, forged numbers in the business ledger. Apparently, I don't even need to change them. Maybe, maybe that's a secondary quest. Like, maybe we'll come back for that one. That's kind of cool. We just got a, a spoiler. All right, so we went down there. What the hell are these things? I think garlic, stinky garlic. I saw that broom and I thought it was a rifle. A little concerned for a minute. We'll take the wolf pelt because we got to make leather. Silver ring, diamond ring, East Empire shipping map. We'll take that. Oh, apparently that's another quest that we had. We'll take all these coins, pheasant breast, gold, yeah, this is the place to go. This is how you uh, apparently just blast your way into uh, wealth in this game. We're just going to take all these. Like I said, we're going to build a library in our, in our little house. I don't remember, or I don't know if you guys remember, but a few episodes back, we did build a house. And I've also promised you guys that we would do an episode of just me reading some of the lore in this game. So we'll, uh, we will get to that, I promise you. It might be a little bit later on, but it's something that we're going to do else like this place would pick clean pretty well head on down all right keep in mind guys this is a blind playthrough so I if I'm doubling up on stuff that you guys already know about I'm sorry um, oh, there are two of those Take my arrow back as well. Um, 
Nobody who cares about troll fat will be really happy. Anything up here? Doesn't look like it. We'll go right around. Right, there's nothing up there, is there? More troll fat. We'll, we'll, we will take that. We really will. Once again, if you guys are interested in the looting of this uh, this entire place, go ahead and skip this episode because that's all we're doing here. Whoop whoop whoop! Block picking one up. More lock picks, potions of magicka, and we're not too worried about people seeing us stealing from this place because we've already. We're going to have a ton of bucks. Holy smokes. Spirit of Nirn. Argonian account book three. The yellow book of riddles. I like riddles. They're kind of cool. Illyrian the Mystic. Part 3 of the History of the Empire. Man, this place is like a, a treasure trove of knowledge. We're going to be like... Alright, I've mentioned this before. Do you guys remember Fable, that game... It came out, I think it was for the original Xbox is when I first played it. Um, I don't know if it came out on any other platforms or anything like that. But I remember in the end just being like really feeling like I was, I was actually on top of the world. Like I had discovered everything there was to discover in the game. Like I felt like this all-knowing I don't want to say superpower, but I feel like I had really achieved the pinnacle of, uh, yeah, that's very, very good. We're going to make multiple trips back to, uh, old, what the hell is his name? Marmilius McManus, or whatever the hell it was. Merchant boots, okay, just standard clothing items, anything over, over here. A couple of chests here, those are both empty. Apparently, do we already look through those, apparently? Fine boots, nobody cares. Nothing up top. Detected, we're undetected. More merchant boots. Iron greatsword, that's neat, but we're not really here for armor. Especially heavy armor, because we don't wear that stuff. Bunch of firewood. Bunch of rugs, helmets. Novice chest. Easy day. Block picking one up. Uh, nope, we're not worry about that. We'll take this. We're at 318 out of 360. No doubt much attribution to the 10,000 books that we've got. Right. From dresser, barrel. We're not looking for clothes. We're looking for the good stuff, people. Stuff that's locked. Ooh, what? Ooh, wait. Why? Why are we getting a bounty? Who can see us? 
Polovian composite bow, 12 damage. I'm pretty sure the one that we've got now is higher than that. Petty soul gem, silver ingot, silver ruby ring. Yep, we'll take that. We have to make sure we fence all of our stolen stuff before we go to Hafingar. Which I don't think that we have been to. Oh. He's sleeping. Did we even bother talking to him? Let's talk to him. Let's see what happens. You're not supposed to be here. Oh, okay. Night, dude. Keep snoozing. We don't need a ton of cheese. Oh! Imagine if we ate all that cheese at once, dude. We wouldn't poop for months. Or, well, I mean, if we're a cat, we might poop a whole lot instantly. Bunch of ruined books. Stupid ruined ones. The buying game. Speech increased. We'll take that. Go for an end table. What, what could possibly be in an end table? Alright. We'll take two gold. And jump down. Whoop. Bunch of wine, tankards, no interest. Just want to make sure we're not missing anything. There's an anvil. take all them iron ingots. Sure will, sure will, sure will. And what we'll probably do is we'll sell it just so that we don't have any stolen items on us in case we get caught. Because you know how great I am at this game, right? Pause. Pitchforks. Anybody want to start a riot? Or is that just for tiki torches? Is that all we use nowadays? Come on, people. Um, not seeing any more chests. Okay, well, maybe that's it. Charcoal. All right, guys. Looks like we've done a pretty good run of this place. And, uh... I appreciate you guys tuning in. If this wasn't your style, I'm sorry, that sucks. And this was actually a full 22 minute episode. That's a huge surprise to me. But uh, either way, this is LCG. Stay happy, stay healthy. I am signing out.